Hello? What's up, girl? What happened after Tony dumped you? Girl, I'm over it. I went from heartbreak to hate. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I was like waiting. Boy, joy. There it is. Hey, Bob. Hi. How are you? It's been so long. Mm, hasn't it, though? It's been, I mean, not <laughs> since we've seen each other, but right. since we did the podcast, I think, because we like recorded, you know, ghost fucking ahead of time. <laughs> There you go telling our truth again. I know, but you know, I like to be honest with the world. I know. That's true. So it's been a while since podcast time. Mm -hmm. And I was on iTunes today looking at our podcast and they were nice enough to put some asterisks in the fucking for us. Oh, we're we're like, (laughs) we're going to go ahead and censor you. Yeah. I mean, even though we we are, you know, an explicit podcast on iTunes. I guess even if somebody's searching, we don't want innocent eyes to accidentally. And I didn't, I've never noticed because like when we did the fuck, fuck your life situations, fuck my life situations, solutions, it was even censored there too. But yeah. So Google's not the only one doing it then. No. Okay. I was like, that was funny. I was just like, I guess it makes sense. You know, they do it with with music and stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn censorship. Children. Ghost children. <laughs> you haven't recovered from the ghost fucking, have you? I have not. Um, and I feel like right now that I maybe got ghost fucked earlier. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> to my surprise, I come over. Like, I texted you, what, 40 minutes in advance? I was yeah. Like, just confirming the time that I'm coming over. And You're completely like completely awake. Cool. Cool. And okay. Probably I, okay because it's yeah, typically it was okay. Ninety-eight point nine percent things. <laughs> the time I'm just text okay. I've just learned to translate okay as cool. Works yeah. For me. <laughs> <laughs> or okay, he's pissed off. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I don't translate it as pissed off anymore. Once you told me okay is just okay. Yeah. That was one of my first men tips. Like it was one of those things I did not want to accept, but. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes okay just means okay. <laughs> like, yeah. Start anyway. typing it with like a y y y y y y. Okay. <laughs> Occur. Um. Yeah. So then you were passed out. Passed out. In either a trance or well, in you the know middle how, of a ghost fucking session. You know how it happens. Like if uh, if I even slightly fall asleep, I start <gasps> dreaming. I know what we have to talk about. What? The amazing song. Are we going to talk about the song? Oh, oh, the ghost fucking song? Yes. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I'll tap it onto the end of this this episode. I should, I should have probably yeah. just broadcast uh, it. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. So made a song off the ghost fucking podcast and some, some quotes from the yes. podcast that were pretty amazing. It's very catchy. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll add that at the end of this episode. So Uh-oh, therefore, bonus people kids. can just like bonus music episode um yeah so we're talking today randomly about things that happen in october maybe things that change for october things that people do to amp up because this is one of those things that like yeah christmas you know christmas is almost the end of the month but people start christmas are already starting christmas so people months in advance do that shit for christmas Surprisingly, people really do wait until like either fall hits on the 21st of September or it's um, October 1st. And then it's like the light bulb happens and it's horror movies and yes. it's time for scary stuff and all that fun uh, things. And ha- Halloween candy and the whole candy, thing. Candy, yeah. I was just looking at that the other day. I was like, we need to stock up on some candy. How do you feel about Halloween decorations? Because they're kind of newer within the last 10 years. I'd say it's like grown in popularity. Well, here's the thing. So (laughs) everybody that listens to us obviously has been to my apartment and or my house in the past and pretty much decorated for Halloween on a permanent basis. I was going to say it's a year round thing. Yeah. So... I mean, I'm not, re- no, not really. I don't want anybody to imagine that my house is just orange and black. You know, it's sophisticatedly mm-hmm. Halloween mm-hmm. or horror adjacent. There it is. 
But some of these decorations, they, well, I guess specifically from one of the places that shall run name nameless with the b- b- why, b- why, like I can't say it. anyway one of those craft stores mm. fabric stores you mm. know mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. the TJ Maxx of it all like some of those decorations that are Halloween yeah. related mm-hmm. like I don't know it seems like everything has like glitter on it it does. There's a lot of glitter. A lot of glitter. It's a happy Halloween. Yeah, it's a happy Halloween. And it's more like, a, it's. I don't know if it's supposed to be a sophisticated Halloween or if it's like for adults specifically, but it doesn't seem like it's child related for the most part. Nope. They're, they're like, you know, elaborate candelabras that you can buy really cheap. I mean, if you really wanted to like have a Victorian house, right ne- now would be the time to be shopping for things because you could get a lot of things cheap. Mm. Not real candelabras, obviously, but, you know, LED cam- candelabras. Exactly. That are um, dipped in heavy black. I don't, they all look like it's crusted in black with glitter added to it, you it know? Really does. And there's also a lot of, like, strung lights with, mm-hmm. you know, uh, pumpkins hanging and things. And it's just... I, I, it's part of, like, the greater need people seem to have once fall starts and it kind of starts with halloween to just start decorating throughout the end of the year have you noticed it it's become Mm -hmm. that used to just be christmas and then it was like okay we'll throw some figurines out from halloween and then people were like oh we could do some stuff for it's just like well and halloween was always when we were growing up just those stupid little piper cutouts that you would put in the window that everyone had the same ones. There was the cat on side on screaming like angry on the pumpkin. Yes. There was a witch head. Yeah. There was like a Frankenstein head. There was a skeleton where his arms moved, you know, and that that was the decorations. Everybody had the same fucking decorations. But lots of people didn't. I just feel like most people like the people who really had decorations were the people who were going to like they were the houses in the neighborhood that did the haunted house. Yeah. Other than that, it was like most, like, the basic family home ones were like little plastic pumpkins that they mm-hmm. would put maybe some candies or something in. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, it's and now it's a whole evolved. thing. It's a whole Well, it's maker. a holiday now. Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah. It's a holiday now. Yeah. A holiday in America. But it's the best holiday in America still because you don't have to buy anybody anything. That's true. You don't have to go to your family's house. (laughs) There's no There's no family responsibility. True. Fair. I get you now. It's kind of like the most uh, selfish holiday because you might spend a couple hundred dollars on a costume for yourself that you're going to use one time in your life. Wow. You're going to get drunk. Yeah. Well, true. So, I mean, and then you're going to go out and have the most fun no matter what night the Halloween lands on. And if you're lucky, like here in Champaign, people either celebrate the weekend before mm-hmm. at bars and stuff, or they celebrate the weekend after. So therefore, you get like weekend before parties, weekend after parties, and Halloween night parties. That's absolutely true. That's so absolutely it's, true. I was thinking about the commercialism, but you got me on all those other points. All right. All yeah. Right. So it's commercialized. Yes. But like, because you're amping up, but like... It really is still a selfish holiday. And it's always been because you're just out there to get candy for yourself. I mean, it's You're about... working the streets. Maybe the only time you ever work the streets in your life. Your <laughs> I things. was going to say, my eyes got all big like, working the streets. I mean, Hello. not everybody dressed up as a prostitute for, the, for Halloween. I mean, people do that. Yeah. But we talked about that last year. Let's not get into the sexy costumes of it I, all. Not, I didn't say anything. No, you it's the same. You started. Yeah. Yeah. Refer back to our sexy costume episode from last October. Please do. We went there. We talked about <laughs> a all... A sexy house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else housewise that people do? Housewise? No? I don't think so. I mean, uh, I will know that I have seen it all when somebody puts up a fucking Halloween tree. Oh. When that becomes a thing. Don't say, oh, like that's a thing. No, it's a thing. No. When? How? No. Never seen it. 
yeah, some people have hallow like uh, trees that they decorate year round instead of Christmas. It's whatever the holiday is. Okay, because like I said, I didn't know that you could get strings of lights now. That's true. Yeah. But Side I note. W- I want you to notice when you leave my apartment how many people have outside lights like I do now. It's become a thing in my in my apartment complex. Because you're a trendsetter. And like people on this side have it, people on that side have it. They might not have them lit up, but it's a thing now. Like before I felt like I was being super obnoxious because, you know, I have um Wi Fi controlled outdoor lighting. You have the most with the lighting. <laughs> my the lighting in my apartment changes at the time of day, so when the sun goes down, mm-hmm. the lighting changes inside. You got different mood set, mood presets. Sets. At 10 o'clock at night, they dim a little bit at midnight. They all switch to what I call Freddy Krueger mode, where it's just one bright red light as bright as possible in the house, so it looks like a murder apartment. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that person. I'm yeah. that person. Yeah. Like, if you had your own house, it would be like the house that, like... All the parents would tell kids to avoid. Well, that's what my house was before, right? <laughs> it is. Where I lived before, people some people didn't even know my house existed because that's of true. all the scary trees that were in front of it. That's and, true. And people told us that it was haunted and there was a haunted stump. <laughs> we haven't experienced a good haunting in a while. If I could mm. just divert off. I just feel... Every time we kind of talk about it, we kind of... Like, try to pursue the idea. Yeah. We were going to do Haunted House this whole... S- we were going to do, like, a, a four-part series from a Haunted I House. I want the reality. Or I'm not... A, you know what I mean? I'm not here for the 99% chance that nothing happens. You want a guaranteed ghost fucking. <laughs> not ghost fucking. I do not consent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made me think of the song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just an encounter just uh make your acquaintanceship is that so wrong no i mean i've had i've had my experiences right and so you know i feel like everyone should have some kind of experience that yes of the unexplained yes because i don't know sometimes i think that people like myself who were um weirdos from the get-go queerdo if you will from the get-go you know i've seen i've seen alien spaceships i've had ghost encounters i don't know if that's just it just like if you have to have the right mindset for it or you have to be open to it i will say that because i think the mindset that you have like what you're willing to believe or not believe oh yeah for sure colors yeah, because there's. What you receive. I think it's definitely that type of thing. It's like you know, people believe, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago, people believed in like Medusa, and you know, monsters and Pegasus yeah. and unicorns more so than we use them as like imagery. But people believed in that part of that was part of their religion. So like, mm. I think that when you're open to possibilities, you can find the unseen yeah Hmm. so maybe open your mind a little bit more you know what i don't think it's that i'm not open find a cemetery to walk through on the way home tonight here is the thing about cemeteries you don't like them at all (laughs) no with an adjacent note (laughs) so uh, as i was at a recent event that i'm just going to keep anonymous right now but the moral of the story is lots of people were going around talking about like their childhood, I don't know what it is. What it is with small towns? And I know people would say Champagne's a small mm-hmm. town. I'm talking about small, small towns. towns. Mm-hmm. Apparently, hanging out at the cemetery is like a thing. Yeah. See, I I don't know anything about that. See, I think it's the thing that um, whenever you're drinking and you're young, or smoking or doing things bad, you have to find a place where you can do it. Okay. And a lot of people don't think that people will, like, cops or adults will, like, show up at a cemetery. Okay. So, kind of a getaway scenario. And almost every small town has a tiny haunted cemetery five miles outside of town somewhere with a metal fence around it. Like, that's <laughs> the whole thing is, like, 
it's a getaway. It's definitely a place to go uh, have sexual encounters. That's why it's in horror movies, because it's so fucking true. That's why you always see, like, people out having sex in a cemetery getting murdered at the beginning of a movie, because that's where it always starts. <laughs> you know? You there, they're just cow tipping. Cow tipping. <laughs> or just out in the country shooting guns. I've done that. Just One time I was so drunk out in the country with a shotgun, I was shooting the moon with a shotgun. Okay, see, that's in my horror movie right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Just random. Me with a gun, period. <laughs> this should be horror for a lot of people. There's some random drunk person out in the country shooting at the sky like a genius. I was trying to catch the moon, man. <laughs> I just need everybody to visualize the eye roll that happened in that yeah, silence. Yeah, it was deep. It was like, <laughs> you like, your body like shook a little bit. It went full like <laughs> east to west. So. <laughs> okay. Cemeteries. Shooting at shooting the moon. moon. Got it. Um, But yeah, there's always something. I, saw, I just read today there's this... Uh, an abandoned town that people can go like walk around. It's like a walking trail, a hiking trail now. And I'm like, now that is fucking creepy. Now, in real life, I watched some like one of those quick documentary, mm -hmm. seven minute type things. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this woman who lives in an abandoned town. She's legit the only person that lives there. Yeah. First of all, you see it. It looks like a full on wasteland, and she's like. Fixing it up. Fixing it up for who? You're the only... You and a dog are the only one. And then, like, one guy drives in and, like, brings supplies or something. So, I'm like, does he live in the next town of one person? So, that's the kind of shit I feel like. You go visit her, you're going to get haunted. Uh, I mean, I think that's the thing. Is like, you you want this experience. You know how to get there. Is that place in Wyoming? Is that one of those ones? <laughs> Like in the desert somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. I can't Atlanta. remember yeah. Utah. I don't know. Somewhere ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Somewhere where she's like the mayor and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know if she's the mayor, the but she was like talking about how she legit had to get a gun and start carrying it around. Yeah, because you know you're out by yourself. You're you're out here like a pioneer, and people if they know that there's a single person running around. You know, man, woman, doesn't matter. They don't, yeah. They'll, they'll try. And I'm like, why are you still there? I'm sorry. I'm digressing. But it, no, is, it does mean, sound like my horror movie. So I guess that's... that's but that's the thing is you got the perfect horror movie. Like there's this abandoned town that one person lives in. All these kids are out, you know, practicing black magic or not even that. They're listening to some music really loud and they're all drunk and stoned. They're always stoned. They're always on pills. They're always on coke, whatever. They're going to ride out there on a whim. Uh-huh. Right. And look around this ghost town. I get you. They're going to park their car far away and walk up to it. <laughs> yes. And then they're just going to get shot by this woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A anything more to this? No. No. Oh, they're, pro they're probably will end up being. Movie. Well, I mean, they probably will end up being like there's some something going on, right? There's like, would some stick their heads real... on the fence that she's creating. And for... then, well, I think the end of the movie, she's like comes to terms with the fact that there is some kind of creature. Like she's hunting people because they're on her property or whatever. But at the same time, this creature, and she ends up saving like the last person because. I mean, do with it what you will out there. And it's a <laughs> script for you. It's a good start. A what good start. I've always thought was the super creepiest thing is when you're driving like at 3 o'clock in the morning on the highway. Like to me, that is creepy. Because like, there's nothing on the highway. There's no other yeah, cars. It's pitch black. You have to stop at a rest stop. Ooh, no. You have to listen to the radio. You can't listen to anything. You have to listen to a radio just in case it comes out or... News comes across the radio that someone escaped a, a sane asylum or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, your face is my face is like this sounds, sounds sound horrible. Like it's fun at all. No, <laughs> you're like no, thank you. I never want that scenario. <laughs> like if I stop in the middle of the night, 
because I'm driving, I'm stopping at the biggest rest stop, like trucker rest stop. Loves. Like, fo- yes, a love of loves. They light up the whole oh, night sky yes. with that sign. Yes. It is daytime when it's you daytime pull in. daytime at loves. <laughs> Always daytime at loves. Yeah. You, wait, you're not going to. If loves would like to sponsor our podcast. Oh. I think I've actually asked for them to sponsor before, it seems like. but I don't think loves. Oh, okay. But we love... You we love loves. loves. <laughs> yes. That is my preferred stop place on the hi- on the road anytime I go tripping anywhere. Tripping as in driving cars places, yeah. not tripping as in acid. And see, here's the reason why I will never be in a horror movie where it's like, you know, the ladies driving along and something happens on the highway. This is exactly why. Because I don't stop. There, you know, there are exits where people are like, oh, I'll just get off. Mm-hmm. You know, and it has like one gas sign yeah. and then, and then you get off and then you find out you have to drive half a mile mm-hmm. or so to get to the gas. False. If I can't see you blazing in the night from the exit. Yeah, like five miles back. I'm like, we're still moving. Yeah. We're okay. not going to stop at all. We're not, we're not stopping. Well, the thing of it is, is the, what I, what I fear the most, I guess, is what humans will do to people because yeah. you know, I'm all about the serial killers and yeah. and those types of things. And that's what scares me more is like unexplained deaths or right. just a hundred percent missing people. Like someone comes to a gas station, mm-hmm. they go to pump gas and they've never, they're never seen again. Their car is still sitting there. Yeah. The people who worked there never saw anything. Video cameras never saw anything. Video cameras magically weren't working that evening. Yeah. Or the person like walks off, just slightly off the cameras. That is fucking view, creepy. and then they're gone forever. You don't Why see any lights. Why are you creeping me out? And I have to like go to sleep in about an hour. What's <laughs> up with that shit? I'm just realizing. <laughs> Why are we having this discussion now? This is like real. This isn't a movie. This is real. <laughs> well, I don't think. I mean, not that it won't happen, but I mean, you do have a half a block to walk to your apartment <laughs> at night. I need you to walk me there. <laughs> Oh, I might go get ice cream after this. So maybe I'll drive you there. Um, So, yeah, that's what scares me the most. Real things. (laughs) What scares me the most now, too. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, Yeah. Do you feel like you're more scared? I know the fall is your gig and your jam and the weather in the fall. Like, it's going to be in the 30s and you're like. (laughs) It's not 30. First of all, I believe that I said that the magical temperature is right. like 47 to 67 and your whole inner being just eye rolled. Well, I saw that it was going to be in the 30s this week as lows on some of the days. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Joy's going to be extremely happy with the the daytime temperatures. Yeah, absolutely. The colder it is in the morning, it doesn't matter if it's 70 degrees, it still has a slight chill. It's going to slight it is, and it's time to put on a sweater. Yeah. And you're like, "Ooh, I could go get a coffee." That's the thing is, like, Friday it felt really uh, super cold here, um, but it wasn't cold at all. It was just that, you know, your body's used to 70 to 90 degree weather, and now it's, seven, you know, 50 to 70 degree weather. And, yeah. Yeah. Kick my heat on for the first time. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's just a slight chill. You remember I'm slightly underground, so. Oh, right, yeah. I just had to knock a little chill off. Nothing crazy. But, um, I don't know what else about October. I just, I, well, you know, <clears throat> for me, I guess I think more about things from the afterlife. Uh, because, you know, October is my mom's birthday. Mm-hmm. So I kind of think about those things. And, um, I would be a willing participant for, like, you know, she wanted to send some message from the beyond. I'm ready and I'm always paying attention. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's totally possible. I feel the energies are more open in October. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's because we're more open. Depending on just what you mean by open. <laughs> Accepting? Accepting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, if you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Would you prefer like a casual, like 
rapping at the door, ghostly encounter, or do you want a full on scary account encounter? Which would you prefer? Mm. I mean, do you want to like say this is a sign, or do you want to say like this is a motherfucking sign, <laughs> like poltergeist, <laughs> like the bitches what... need to move out of the house like two months into it, like they know the kids sliding across the fucking floor, <laughs> no, no. like that ain't cute. Get out of the house. Like, Joe Beth Williams, that's not fucking cute. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking poltergeist by any means. <laughs> but, you know, like, to me, it's like some good, um, the floor is creaking. Like, mm-hmm. you feel things moving, but you can't see anything. Yeah. The kind of shit nobody else would believe you. But you're like, you do not understand. I am not crazy. I was completely sober. I was wide awake. Wide awake. Something touched me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Down I guess there. the bad thing here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess the thing about those is that they're also somewhat uh unsatisfactory because it's like you relay them to somebody and they're probably going to be nice and be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. you know what I mean?" and do that thing that you do where you pretend that you believe somebody but you're really just like yeah. Psycho. Like you're like mm. you're like turn around and walk in the other room and like close the door like, "Do you know what the fuck Joy just told me?" <laughs> Basically. She told me that the wind, there was no wind, but it, there was wind, and it brushed her hair <laughs> slightly you for said. like one millisecond, and she had a ghost encounter. <laughs> now, I believe it, like, I don't, I think people listening, if they listen to last week's podcast about ghost fucking, and things else, the other things that I've said that people will think that I'm a non-believer, but I am a very much a believer because yeah. I've had encounters. So I'm like, and like I, there are times when I'm like here in my apartment, like I know when there's no ghosts. It's like we lived in that creepy house. Like I know there's no ghosts here mm-hmm. because bitch is open. <laughs> I'm a portal. Okay. Like pour your spirit through me. Wow. He can sense. I'm ready. Um, But no, I do that like a lot of times like I'm, when everything's completely silent and stuff like that. And like, that's, you know, whenever things happen, mm-hmm. I, it's just, uh, yeah, I just not lived anywhere as an adult where things are act activities are happening. Unfortunately. Do you ever feel like maybe Mojo senses something? I don't don't know. You know, I had a cat growing up. I had a cat for 15 years and, we lived in this place that was definitely haunted. Um, like the last, I think it was like the last time I actually like had, I think we talked about that. The Shauna story talked about that before, right? I think, I think, I yeah. think so. Yeah. And so like my cat would follow me the entire time I was at home mm. and she would like, cause I lived in the basement of our house and if I was in the basement, she was there. And if I was in the basement, she'd be at the top of the stairs, the basement, looking down stairs. So I felt that she was sensitive about mm-hmm. things like that, obviously. And um, I don't feel like Mojo is. Because if Mojo, he would just want him to let him out or, <laughs> or something. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's, he's just like, he's non... He's not a cuddle me dog. He's not any yeah. of that. He's just a very utilitarian animal. Like, yeah. I need you to feed me. I need you to go to bed when I say go to bed. And I need you to eat. let me out when I want to go out. That's <laughs> him. That's my He-Man. My He-Man is very much, I just want to eat. <laughs> I just, I want to be petted when I want to be petted. I want to sleep a lot. But Optimus, he's he's got a thing. Like he senses stuff, and he go, he goes to this other place sometimes. You're looking, and it's like you can't get it, you can't break him from it. I'm like, who is it? What's going on? Oh, so you think your apartment might be haunted? Not so much haunted, but I do think that uh, that it's possible that I've had visitors. Ooh, because it's happened in multiple places. Like so dick visitors? maybe it's <laughs> maybe so. He's sensing dick visitors. He's sensing dick visitors. No. Ghostly dick visitors. And now, Ghost Fucking by Creep Patrol. No one knows 100% if ghost fucking is real. He was 
helping us back down. Right of every woman, and I wish you all loads and loads of loveliness and good luck. <laughs> 